Technology Crazy here, and today we're going to be working with bat files and learning a little bit about bat programming. Uh, so it's very, very basic. It's basically, I'm just going to be covering what is bat files, what is um, CMD, all that stuff, and some basic commands and how to make bat files and stuff like that, uh, just for the basics, and then later on we'll move on to different videos for uh, more advanced videos. I'm hoping to make this a series because these videos are really, really easy to make. Um, but basically, what is a bat file? Now, you don't need any software to make bat files, um, but we're going to be covering that in a second. Um, basically, it, it's CMD. So on Windows 7, you can just type in CMD here and open it up. Now, this is what we call a command prompt. Um, a long time ago, before I was born, there was something called MS-DOS. Now, this was an operating system. Um, it was by Microsoft, and the whole operating system was a command prompt. You had to type in every single thing you needed to do. Uh, just That's just because they didn't have a lot of computer space and a lot of RAM and all that stuff. It, everything was basically this. But then when they moved up to GUI, now everyone just enjoys dragging their files around, and I do too. But if we go back to CMD, we have full control of the whole system. Uh, so some of the stuff you can do, if you're an administrator on your computer, you can do net user, you get a list of all your users, net user, and then you just type in the user you want, and space star. Now this is where you can actually change their password from CMD because CMD has full access over the whole computer. Um, stuff you can't necessarily do in Windows you can do in CMD. Um, so we're going to be harnessing that power with the bat files. Basically when you make a bat file, whatever you type in that bat file, it will open up CMD and run it. So any commands in CMD will work in bat files. Um, basically CMD is a portal. Uh, it's that's like what I like to think of it as a window. Um, now, in Windows 30, uh, System 32, as you can see, that's where it's running from. There's a whole bunch of different commands, like the shutdown command, which is very, very fun to use if you look it up. <laughs> but basically, it's it looks like it's running in CMD, but it's actually a shutdown.exe. And um, so it's not actually in the CMD program. And what CMD does, when you type it in, it'll actually search in this folder for the shutdown.exe. So you have to remember that CMD is not a program by itself. It's more like a window of what you can do. And you can also download and make your own commands beside the shutdown, and I'll be showing you that right now. So, if we right-click on anywhere on the Windows and go to New, and go to Text Document, now we can open this up and save it as a bat file. And how to do this? You just go to Save as Type, and go to All Files, because we don't want a TXT, because that's a, like a notepad file. And now we just have to type .bat after our file, and there you've, you've made a bat file. It's empty, but it is a bat file. So now if we refresh, we can delete the text file, and we have our bat file right here, where we can right-click and go to Edit, and edit it. So right now we're just going to be going over some very basic commands uh, that you will be very, very useful until the next video, where I go a little bit more in-depth and move on, move on, until I, we get like extreme programming and stuff like that. Um, but basically, the very first one is a very, very important one. It's at echo off. Now, to show you this, um, we're going to do echo hi, which is basically going to say hi. Uh, when you want to say something, you can just do echo hi. Now, if we run it right now, you're going to notice it closes right away, and you can't see anything. That's kind of useless. So we need to add a command called pause. So now if we well, it'll pause, it won't close right away. And I'll say press any key to continue, and then it'll close. Um, but basically, we can see it says echo hi, and then says hi. But we don't want it to say echo hi and all this stuff necessarily. Um, to do this, we to get rid of it, basically, we can go at echo off. And this will, it won't show any of the commands. It won't show this command. It will only show what this command actually does. It, like, it won't show echo off. It'll just say hi instead of echo hi. So it just says hi there. And then our pause command. The next one we're going to be talking about is the clear function um, or command. Um, basically it's very useful for clearing the screen. Now I'm just going to do two pauses in here and put the clear thing. So right now it's going to do echo off, turn it off, um, say hello, pause, and once after I continue the pause it'll clear the screen and then pause again. Save that and open it up. So it says hi, press again, and it cleared the screen and paused again. So that's a very, very useful command if you're getting into a lot of lines of code. The next one's a very interesting one. It's called the go to command. And um, it, it's fairly easy to understand. Uh, it'll, it'll bring you to any line of code in your, in your program. So let's say we had the same program right here. And we did echo Justin. Let's say we didn't actually want it to go to Justin, but we wanted it to Go start like the code will run here and go to the next line, go to the next line. But let's say we want to skip Justin and go over there. We can go go to 
end, and then later on we can do colon end. Now what we'll do is it says go to and it'll look for end. And when you do a colon in front of slang, it'll actually skip out of that code. So um, if you type in end in CMD, just the end, it's not going to recognize the code. But when we do like colon end, it won't actually run as a command. It's like kind of invisible. So um, end is invisible until you use the go to command. It'll find the end and go there. And let's pause again. So it should skip echo Justin. And it did, hello, and then skipped echo Justin and went to the pause. So that's just a very, very basic understanding of what BAT can do. Um, some of the cool things I'm going to put in the description, I've made a master program here. I'm not going to release it all because it does contain some of my passwords and stuff like that. But some of the really cool ones you want to check out is I have a CMD command um, where you can actually unlock CMD at school because any school or any smart school would block CMD so you can't search and open it up it'll say access denied um, but this will allow you to open up your bat file that you made um, basically I'm just, you just copy and paste the code that I'm going to give you in the description into this and you'll get this really cool program which is basically CMD um, actually identical to CMD but it's a bat file and it will not be blocked unless your school blocks bat files so that, that's a little bit of a fun trick and there's also the shutdown command and let me just explain this to you um, before I end this video. If I type shutdown, just like that, and get lots of writing. Now up here we have the usage and this is the syntax of it. Now what is syntax? Well in English it's the order of letters or numbers or words in a sentence or something like that. Um, with programming it's the same thing. It will show you how to use the shutdown command. So to activate it you have to write shutdown and then these are all the different variables that you can use and including the computer name and the time and stuff like that. Um, so with bat files we'll take the syntax or so we'll take this whole thing and we'll do it all automatically. So later on, this is a, I'm probably going way over your head right now, but I'll just show you what you can do and we'll move on to the next video later on. So if I write down shutdown, it'll say welcome, press any continue, and you can type in the computer IP and the numbers until the seconds and you want to send them a message um, and it will run. And it'll also ask you if you want to abort. Now it took all that coding from the syntax, like all these different variables, like the the time is somewhere here, this is the time right here, and it stuck it all into um, one piece of code that was really, really easy to do. So that's what you can do with uh, the go to command and also uh, variables and stuff like that. But we'll cover that in later videos. I'm just kind of rambling off just to get you a basic understanding of what CMD is. And if you want to check out um, what you can do, just go into the internet and search cool CMD commands. And um, if, you have, if you wonder what a command is, oops. Like if you wonder what what does the shutdown command do or how do you use it, you can do slash question mark after the command and it will give you how to use it. Now it already said that before, but let's say we did like um, IP config, which will tell you your IP address, you do colon slash, and it'll tell you how to use IP config. So you can actually say slash all after or slash renew or stuff like that. It'll basically tell you how to use it and give you all the information just to help you guys out. But you can also go and check out Google. So I hope you guys uh, check out more stuff about BAT. We're going to be moving more on in the later videos, and I hope this isn't too long. But I wanted to make it very, very simple for you guys to understand what BAT files are. And I hope you guys have tons of fun with it. And um, I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye. Okay, so the Pygmy program winner this week is Science Hido. Now, he makes really cool chemical videos, and I'm actually quite interested in his channel. I've already watched like almost all his videos, uh, just because he's a kid, but he seems like he has a great understanding of chemicals and chemical reactions, and he has all these really, really cool like explosions or how to do this and that and make nitrogen something rather or like big baking soda and vinegar explosions. So if you want to go and check out his channel, all you have to do is go and click on the click me button on your screen right now. Now if you want to join the Pick Me program and get a free shadow, all you have to do is go into my latest video and say pick me and you can say it as many times as you want and I might pick you for my next video. So I guess that's all. I hope you have a wonderful new year and goodbye.